Hi, um, here is our modern application developer wiki. You can also contribute to it. To contribute, uh, go to the GitLab and uh, you have to contribute to this repository to uh, contribute to the wiki. It's done through merge request. The first thing to do is to fork it. Fork will make a copy of this repo in your user account. Once you click on it, it will have an option like this. You select your namespace. You can make it public or private. Um, you can keep it public, right? Um, and make it public and then fork the project, right? So fork will actually make a same repo under your account. See, now it's under my account. Initially, it used to be under, for example, a different account, modern application development account, right? Yeah. So now it's under my account. The next thing to is make a copy of this repo locally, which is done by cloning. Now I have set up SSH keys. So I'll use this URL. You can use this URL where you can give username and password of your GitLab. To remember to give and fork, you need to create an account on GitLab, right? So I'm going to copy this, go to my uh, terminal, right? Uh, wherever I want to clone, or make a copy, I'll go there, I'll do JIT clone. So it will making a copy, so you can see that it is completed. Now, um, let me just show it to you on the folder how it looks like. So if you go to the local folder, it has made the copy of the whole project. You can see it here, you know. Um, next thing for you to do, is to go to that project cd course wiki right inside it you will see all the things uh, like any python project you have to install everything in the requirements.txt i've already done that so i'm not going to do that once you, once you install you can do mk docs so so what it will do it will start the server locally and it will show the repo um, the wiki uh, locally right here is the wiki locally now you can make changes to it and to make changes to it you can open any of the any of the editors uh, and then uh, add a markdown file um, or change to the existing page or something like that so here is the um, sublime text I have just opened the same folder uh, in the thing you can you have to edit within your docs folder all right so i'm just going to say um, you can just make changes to the you know existing thing or you can create a additional um, you know folders and structures like that for example i want to do next a a f a, a thing on frames i'll like say tutorial on iframes so I'll create a new file. I'll do zero, zero, eight, um, eight, iframe. Dot md. Md is markdown. All the day content will be in the markdown. Frames and note will add content later. Right, so I'm just going to um, rename this to zero nine just to keep the order correct. Okay, now I've made all the changes. Um, I'll go back here. You can uh, go back and see in your browser. Uh, you can see that there is an iframes here, and the content of it would have shown here. Now let's say I just want to change the title. So you can also add, um, you know, other details. Okay. So I'm just going to leave that there. So you can go back and check it auto reloads. You can check all the changes here. Like now I'm happy with this assume. 
now I'm going to go back to my uh, thing here once I'm happy I'm going to stop it I'm going to do JIT status check all that these files changed one is you know renamed so choose edited and removed so I'll do JIT add and then do JIT commit and give a useful meaningful uh, message uh, saying adding a wiki page related to uh, iframe right okay once it is done you have to send it back to the JIT so you do it by pushing JIT push origin master now you have pushed it to your own repo right so if you go go back here if you see uh, this is modern application repo so if you see your own repo where I pushed it now if you refresh this she so can see the latest commit is adding wiki page to related to the iframe but this has to be moved to this right so that is done by sending a merge request so you can go to merge request a new merge request you can say what is the source source is from my master to modern application master all right and compare branches and continue um, so you can say adding wiki page related everything <laughs> you can add any of the note you can assign it to me always and then say create merge request so now anyone at the modern application development wiki can see what are all the merge requests available like for example all there are th many merge requests available I can check the merge request like when I log in a stage I'll check all the merge requests then see um, then see and uh, if there are approvers then I'll will approve it one of the um, moderator will approve it once everything looks okay I'll just say merge either when the pipeline succeeds or just to merge immediately what happens once you merge it starts a build process once it starts build process you can uh, you can check anytime later the build process is also public you can look into ci cd and look at the status here once it built you build and it gets auto deployed and you can see your changes in the uh, app dev online degree dot item dot series dot it. so remember first fork and then clone to your local thing change commit push to your own repository then merge can merge request to the actual modern application development course wiki and post that we will take care of it okay thank you so much